Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Tracing. It's coming to you live, live from Asia, guys. It's a happy freaking Sunday out there. We're going to be talking about wow, 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 woo, woo. We're seeing that uh, most of crypto markets are still in positive territory. Believe it or not, uh, we're seeing that the crypto right now, uh, the total crypto market cap is about 1.9 trillion. I can smell. I can smell two trillion coming in uh, for for the, for the whole crypto market, guys. So it's a great time to be live. We're having two phenomenal days with this whole Debbie Downer consolidation that we had uh, since the uh, Bitcoin spot ETFs have been released have been resolved, and things are going up. Up, up. We're seeing that uh, for February, the uh, Bitcoin price is up almost like 12%. We're seeing most of the altcoins are responding. Most of the altcoins are rocking and freaking rolling out there. And uh, guys, uh, in case uh, in case you guys missed it, don't forget to uh, lick the likes, smash the likes, and show some freaking love out there for the OG. I appreciate it. And uh, remember, none of this is financial advice. And don't forget to go down there and subscribe. Why be, why be like a man, man? It's so important you do that. I'm excited, guys. I just came back from the grindy grind. Just walked in my door, and I, I think we need to talk. I think we need to talk. You and me out there in YouTube land, we need to talk about crypto. Uh, out there. Uh, so I'm gonna get in the red chair, the red chair of freaking knowledge right there, red chair of knowledge out there. So this is the view that you guys can see out there that. Uh, yeah, the sun is going down, did he, did he, down, down soon. Uh, it's, it's, it's cold. It's like 19 degrees uh, Celsius for everybody out there. So I'm in the red chair of knowledge. I'm relaxing. I'm relaxing out there. And uh, what are we going to talk about? Well, guys, I think some of you are, are missing the boat here, are, are going to miss the freaking boat uh, out there. We're seeing that Bitcoin is above $48,000 time recording. It could go down. Who cares? Uh, but definitely, definitely $50,000 is inevitable out there. It's freaking inevitable. I can smell it, guys. It's just a matter of time. I remember the all-time high uh, was around about 69000 And we're so close. We're so ho -ho close. And uh, don't forget, we've got uh, about three months before the halving. It should be. Sorry, about two months. So sorry, two months. <clears throat> Delete. Correct. Two months before the halving. And I believe... Uh, in my hearts of hearts, that we are going to hit all time high, sixty nine thousand, before the halving. And what what makes crypto different? What is different this time? Uh, that's fueling the market. Well, it's it's a Bitcoin spot ETFs that is fueling the markets right now, uh, and uh, we're seeing uh, you know almost four percent of all the Bitcoin that's ever been mined is being held by uh, the Bitcoin spot ETF holders. Uh, so guys. You can see that you know the the whales, the institutions can't get enough of Bitcoin. It's like they just can't get enough of it. And remember, Bitcoin is almost as rare as diamonds out there. And uh, you know we're going to see a huge freaking 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 supply shock soon. It's a matter of time, titty titty time time. And so I'm excited. I'm excited. We're seeing Ethereum uh, is also doing well. We've got the Ethereum uh, ETF that's going to be coming soon. Gary's been kind of delaying it out there. Other other catalysts that we got out there, we've got China. China. China's economy is uh, entering into a huge deflationary uh, cycle. Uh, it's not good, guys. So we're you know we're going to see like you know the the retail Chinese investors they're going to start to look for safe havens. And Bitcoin is a freaking safe haven, in my opinion, not financial advice. Hey, did you smash the likes? Take the time, guys. Take the time to show some love. Show the algorithm that wow, 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 woo, 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 woo. Uh, crypto's on fire. You're on fire. The whole community is on fire out there, guys. So, you know, we got we got Bitcoin uh, ETFs. We got uh, Ethereum ETF that's going to be coming soon. I think that could be coming probably uh, by the time we hit the Bitcoin halving. We got the Chinese who are like, the economy's tanking. Uh, so much stuff's going on, uh, and it's just so good for crypto. Uh, we're seeing that, uh, you know, the dollar is, uh, you know, looks like, according to Tucker's interview with uh, Putin out there, uh, the dollar is now no longer going to be the international currency of trade, and all these BRICS nations are signing up, and they're, ki they're kicking the dollar, they're kicking the dollar out. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we don't have somebody strong enough in the White House who can uh, stop it from happening. Uh, so hopefully, don't forget, also, we got in 2024, we got elections. So that is often good, guys, often good. No matter who wins, uh, it's often good for crypto, often good for the stock market. We got the, the you know, the S&P 500 uh, just went above 5,000, first time in history. Wow, so much stuff happening, guys, so much freaking stuff happening. Uh, so let's talk about Dogecoin. Do, 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 Dogecoin. Uh, yeah, let's let's get into the, the charty, warty, wart out there. The chart. 
So as you guys can see, I got my remote control in my hand. As you guys can see, Bitcoin is about 48,000, lovely. Uh, Ethereum is still up 1%, uh, 2,500, lovely jubbly out there, hopefully you can see it. Uh, BNB is up a little bit, but Solana is uh, Solana is still up, 109 bucks. I know a lot of you slept on that. I, I mean, I bought Solana, I lapped it up, I lapped, I lapped Solana up when it, when it was at uh, 40 bucks. Now look at it, ha ha, uh, in your face, those that didn't you listen. Uh, uh, it, Avix is still pumping away. It's up four percent, so it's actually it's actually uh, faring better, faring a lot better than Bitcoin. So that's an outlier. Uh, Cardano also an outlier too. It's up fifty. It's at fifty five cents. It's up almost four uh, percent. Outlier doing good. Uh, XRP is in line is in line with Bitcoin. Good news out there. Uh, Linkity wink wink. Wow. Look at the look at Link. So if you guys have Link right now, you're up you're up twelve point four nine percent. Wow. Take a look at that. Uh, insane. Now Doge right now is up in line, up, about in line for uh, for Bitcoin. Bitcoin two point zero four percent, and Dogecoin is in line. Now, what is key? I'm my face in there. What is key? I was gonna get my face. What is key about the Doge Warrior is we are above the zero point zero eight one level. Okay, that's where we need to be. That's where we need to be. If we can continue to stay above the zero zero point zero eight one level, that's gonna be huge for Doge. That is going to send a bullish signal out there to the Doge and the Doge community. And we, our next stop is 0 0.085. Once we smash past 0 0.85, nine cents is coming, baby. Nine cents is coming, y'all. And then that's it. Once we hit the golden 10 cent resistance level, that's when we hit the double digits, baby, y'all. Uh, we're going to see 12 cents, 15 cents, and it's going to be a moon boy time. Guys, blasting off. Uh, Matic, automatic is up as well. It's at a plus 1.7, or 1.8%. The OG effect. I keep touching it. Up, up, up we go. Uh, let's talk about the SHIB. The SHIB, the SHIB uh, is uh, lower lower than uh, Bitcoin, so it's struggling a little bit. This will probably turn red, and we're at night. Uh, at night. Uh, you know, a bunch of zero. I'm not going to say that. Uh, Litecoin is also in line as well. ICP is up, so that's an outlier of it. Uh, yeah, so things are looking pretty good, but uh, you know, the Doji Wooser is looking good, guys. Doji Wooser all day. I support the Doge. You should support the Doge out there, guys. Uh, so yeah, it's a great freaking day, guys. Great freaking day. I'm doing the freaking, freaking great day dance. Uh, look, I like how good can this be? When all you see is a sea of green, a sea of green. It's fantastic, guys. Uh, a sea of green, guys. I love it. it it's it, This weekend has been good. It's been a good freaking weekend out there. It's been a luscious, luscious green day out there. I can smell the money. I can smell the money. Don't forget, we still got the... Uh, uh, the X platform, Dogecoin tippy jar, it's gonna happen. And remember, uh, Elon Musk is just waiting for uh, some more key uh, money transmitter licenses, particularly the one from California. When that comes in, that's a big boy. And that could uh, definitely get Elon Musk to uh, start uh, changing this freaking tea. -he -he. And we can get the uh, the transmitter licenses, then that will uh, enable the Dogecoin tippy jar. That will in, uh, in age, uh, enable, in age, enable, Enable the crypto payments on the platform, all that kind of stuff. So creators are going to get paid, and it's just it's fantastic. It's just fantastic out there. We still got the Doge One X mission to the moon, even though that the uh, it was recently canceled. The, I mean, the payload's going up. It's not going with the satellite, hence no Dogecoin, right? So, and that was Samuel Reed. Samuel Reed, if you're listening, you suck. You suck, Samuel. Eat my shorts, buddy. Uh, because the Doge community waiting years for the Doge X, uh, Doge One mission is the more. Oh my God, uh, GEC, you screwed the pooch. And like, like, how freaking long does it take to build a? F I almost said the F bomb. I almost said it. Almost came out of my lips. It, it was like it came from here, and it came, and I had to, I had to, had to buckle up, buckle up the lips, because almost an F bomb. How long does it freaking take to build a satellite? Like, come on, three years. I mean, come on, where are you getting the where are you getting the bill? In China? In China? I don't know. Well, come on, Simon Reed. You know, you suck out there. We need that catalyst. And you know, keep in mind that uh, Samuel Reed, GEC, they had to pay a rebooking fee uh to Elon Musk uh in Dish. So that was good. It was kinda overshadowed, nothing really happened, Doge didn't pump out there. So, you know, what's really gonna pump Doge right now in the short short term, short term uh, it's going to be Bitcoin. If Bitcoin's up, Doge is going to do well. If Do if uh, Bitcoin starts to slide, it's going to not going to do good. But we need to stay above 0 0.081, guys. This is what we need to do. It's going to happen. So we're going to have one hell of a bull run, guys. Once the having, once once the having, uh, 
is is done we're gonna see crazy crazy crap happening guys so it's not too late guys it's freaking not too late this could be like your final freaking chance this could be your final final chance to get in at these cheap prices because you know as uh, kathy wood uh, of arc investment says um you know bitcoin could be like a million uh you know people are saying like look low estimates 160 uh 100 to 160 uh base 250 uh high side 500 uh and then uh kathy wood from arc is saying a million so take it take it uh you know i'll take 160,000 base and 160,000 on the low side uh base or the medium is 250 i'll take it i'll take that all day guys uh you know yeah private jet city for the og if my if bitcoin if bitcoin goes up to uh, a million bucks i'm gonna buy rhode island damn it i'm gonna buy it i'll buy it i'll buy it and change the name uh, i call it og island og island out there and uh you'll have to have a og og passport out there so the sun's going down the sun is freaking going down here in uh in, in vietnam in vietnam belt it's going down it has, it's going down so i gotta say i love you guys uh have a blessed weekend don't forget to hug the wife more and more uh hug the kids hug the kids uh, even hug the neighbor guys and uh show some love and smash the likes lick those like blah, blah, blah. and just like everything guys be positive be blessful don't be vitriolic out there i'll see you in the freaking next one peace out